Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to show parameters on your report page. Uh, there may be a time in the future where you say, hey, I'd like to be able to see the parameters that my users are inputting on the report page. And it's a little tricky to figure out. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. So we're looking at a report here that I made. Uh, it basically uses linear regression to take like 10 car specifications and predict its miles per gallon based on data that was um, available. So basically using these 10 parameters, we have this prediction for miles per gallon is 33.61, but we can edit the parameter to let's say, let's change one value. We'll change this to a one and that'll totally change its prediction. So let's go ahead and refresh and run the native database query. And once that is done refreshing, you'll see that this changed to a one because our parameter changed and the prediction changes. But I will cover this whole linear regression in more depth later. But right now, looking at this, these parameters, uh, that's pretty cool that we can get that, to, uh, get that to work like that. So the way we do that is we come to edit queries and we go to edit queries again and we see all of our parameters on the left side. So the first thing we want to ensure is that all of these, when you right click, have enable load checked. That allows us to be able to use them in a measure over here. So let's go ahead and run through just a basic example. I will create a new parameter and I'll throw it on a second page. So we'll go to edit queries. I'll manage parameters, new parameter. So I'm just going to call this uh, test param. Uh, it can be anything it wants. Current value will make it a zero. So right now we just set up this test param. So the way we're going to want to put it on a uh, put it on the report is we're going to want to put it in a card. And to put it in a card, we're going to need a measure. So let's come to our measure table. We'll right click and add new measure. Uh, and we'll call this we'll just call this test because we all call the other one test param. We'll call this test measure. And we'll set that equal to test param. And one thing I want you to notice is that it's completely grayed out. If you click enter, it's not going to work. It says test param isn't a valid table variable or function name. That's because enable load wasn't enabled. So we have to come to edit queries and come to our test param and right click it and enable load. Once we do that, we'll be able to see it in our measure. So you can see that let's get rid of test param. When we type it, it's still gray. But the moment you finish it, it turns black. That's how you know that it works. It's not going to come up with an auto, um, an auto populate of the name, but it'll turn black, which will let you know that you can use that parameter. So if you go ahead and click OK, we can drag that measure into our card, and we see zero. If we edit this parameter, and we make test param say 90, go ahead and click OK. Now we can refresh and we see 90. So our parameter values will show up after we refresh the report. So it's a pretty cool way to be able to show your parameters on your report if you ever feel the need to do so. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.